Good morning and welcome back to my channel and morning devotions. My name is Maggie. If this is your first time stopping by, I hope you decide to like and subscribe and click that notification bell. Woo, have I had a time this morning in prayer. Lots of tears. <laughs> God is so good and he meets us where we are and whatever need that we have. It is Friday, November 18th, and our devotions are coming from Joanna Weaver's book called At the Feet of Jesus. And our opening scripture is coming from the book of 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 12. Do not be surprised at the painful trial you are suffering as though something strange were happening to you. Why does God allow suffering? Of all the questions we humans ask, perhaps no other trips us up like this one. If God is God, shouldn't he be able to keep bad things from happening? If God really cares, why doesn't he interrupt tragedy more often? He seems to intervene for some, while well, doesn't why doesn't he do it for everyone? Especially for those who love him so very much. Sorry, my foot kicked the stand. Why do Christ followers seem to get the same amount of trouble and at times even more than those who don't give him a second thought? Shouldn't there be some special treatment reserved for those called by Jehovah's name? A get out of cancer free card or a lifetime guarantee your kids will never rebel? But God doesn't work that way. And isn't that confusing and frustrating at times? It is. Instead of being predictable, he chooses to be mysterious yet unchanging, close yet distant. A God who chooses to redeem our pain rather than providing handy escape routes. My friend is struggling with God right now in a big way. The actions of someone else have shattered her life, but the biggest casualty has been her faith. She can't make the God peace fit. Why didn't God stop the senseless act? I just need to know I matter, my friend says. I need to know that God sees my pain and that he actually cares. Isn't that what we all need at the end of the day? Perhaps that's why the shortest verse in the Bible may be the most power-packed phrase in all of the New Testament. Do you need to know that you matter? <laughs> this has been my whole morning. <laughs> Do you need to know that he sees your pain? Never forget that Jesus wept. John eleven thirty five. 35. Okay. Our reflection scripture is 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 through 4. And we're reflecting, describe a time when you were able to comfort someone with the comfort you've been given by God. So let's look at 2 Corinthians chapter 1. I tell you, it has been a morning for me already. God is good. He's faithful. Okay. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 and 4. All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is our merciful Father and the source of all comfort. He comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort others. When they are troubled, we will be able to give them the same comfort God has given us. You ever wonder how God can turn any circumstance into good? He works all things together for our good. That's scripture. He works all things together for our good. In any horrific, horrible situation, how on earth can God ever turn that and work it for our good? Well, as he gets you through it with his grace, you are then able to empathize on a level no one else can with someone who then goes through the same thing, no matter what it is. And you will be bringing comfort and courage and strength to someone who's facing something they never thought they'd ever face. And you are able to say, God got me through it. Only through God could I have gotten through it. 
and they will find faith and be able to turn to the only one who can give them the answer and the strength to get through whatever terrible things happen in life. God gives us free will choice, and unfortunately, some people with that free will choice choose evil things. And that's unfortunate because that usually means someone's been hurt or victimized because of their evil choice. <sighs> He's a just God and he will get us through those things. He will. He loves us. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you today for this word. And you know the labors I had this morning in my prayer, the travailing, the struggles for those who don't feel they matter, Lord, let your Holy Spirit come right now to let them know you love them and they do matter. You are the source of our comfort. You are the only one we can turn to for a breakthrough. And Father, I thank you for anyone right now struggling because they've gone through something that they feel you could have stopped or they feel you could have done something to change the outcome. Those who are in that place, I ask you especially to give them a touch of your presence, Lord. Your comfort, Father, draw them to yourself by your great love and let them feel the comfort of your embrace in Jesus' name. Well, God bless you. Thank you so much. This was a, this was a, this was a good devotion today. Thank you, Lord. I need it. If you're being blessed by these, if these are helpful to you, please consider liking and subscribing and clicking that notification bell. Always feel free if you feel so led to comment with a prayer request. When I read them, I, com I comment. I try to get back and comment. I've seen I've had some comments, and I thank you for those. I really appreciate that. Those who have already subscribed, I'm blown away. You guys have no idea what a blessing it is. All 603 of you the last time I checked. <laughs> God bless you, and bye until next time.